Hi, we're going to uh, continue our discussion with GIMP with the subject of selection tools. This is the first part of a multi-part series. Selection tools allow you to define areas of an image to either uh, remove, um, vary the color, focus, intensity, apply filters, whatever you choose to do of that part of the Im or of that part of the Im or the uh, image. But what we'll do is the best way to define them is to get right into them. I'm going to open this image here called digital camera. Now basically our selection tools comprise all of the top row and some of the second row. The first one that we're going to discuss is the rectangle select. As with all GIMP tools, when I uh, choose the uh, rectangle select, these um, controls down here control the behavior of the uh, selection tool. So feathering edges, rounding corners, expand from center, uh, the ratio, things along those lines. These are all items that control the behavior of the uh, selection tool. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a selection. Before I do this, I'm going to come over to my Layers dialog box and I'm going to need another layer. So I'm going to, first of all, make my four color, like let's say orange. Um, I'm going to add another layer and I'm going to use the foreground color and I'm going to say OK. I'm going to take my background, I'm going to move it up and so, so my background can have uh, transparent portions, I'm going to have to go up to the layer and I'm going to have to say add the alpha channel to that uh, JPEG image. JPEG images normally do not have an alpha channel but they can uh, exist inside the GIMP environment with an alpha channel. Um, so now um, I've got my layers got an orange background layer and we've got the camera layer on the top. Now if I go over to my selection tool I select an area. Um, what you see is what's called the marching ants. The marching ants indicate that anything inside that selection or outside the selection is, uh, depending on what's set, is um, uh, selected. So if I hit delete at this point if you'll notice, this point of the image is now invisible and the, and the uh, background shines through. Um, so I'm going to undo the clear. Now if I go up to my selection and if I invert my selection, what will happen is if I do a delete now, whatever inside the selection main, has remained, actually the whole outside is selected. So you can select something and then do an inversion of that selection. I'm also going to do a control Z, which is shortcut for uh, um, uh, undo, and I'm going to bring the image back. If you feather the edges, what it basically does is you can, you can define how much you want to feather them, but when I do a select, and if I do a delete, if you'll notice that, and a select none, if you'll notice the edges become fuzzy. Um, we'll do that again. I will increase the radius of this to make them even fuzzier. So now I will do a delete and select none. And you'll see the, uh, the edges are even fuzzier. So now I'll do um, a couple of control Z's to get it back. Now if I wish, I can, um, let's uh, undo rectangle select. I can round the corners and I can specify a radius. So now what I have is I have a rounded um, rectangular, or a rectangular select with rounded corners and the uh, same things apply.
okay, depending on how much um, this radius curves on the feather edge and how much I choose to round the corners. Okay, um, another thing is, um, okay, you have modes up here. Like, should I choose, I'm going to do a control Z to eliminate this. And I'm going to not feather the edges. And I'm not going to round the corners. And I'm going to choose a fixed aspect ratio, which is clear. So this mode right here says do just a normal select. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. And if you notice, I have a selection. If I go here, I can add to that selection by here. Now, what I have here is I have added to that selection. So if I do a delete, if you'll notice, uh, that was adding to the selection by selecting this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo the clear, undo rectangle select. Now I'm going to go here and I'm going to subtract from that selection by doing this. So now if I do a delete, it just deletes the portion there. So you can add, subtract, and uh, the final one is I can do a rectangular select in the additive mode. And now what I'm going to do here is select this where you get the union of the two selects. So if I do a delete, then it deletes the section of where we have a union of the deletes or of the uh, selections. Now, we have another tool here called the ellipse selection. It operates identically to the uh, rectangular selection, except it deals with circles and it deals with ovals. All of the same modes apply. Okay, so we'll edit and undo the ellipse select. So, this is the end of part one of uh, selection tools. We've covered the first two. Part two, we will move on to more selections. Thank you.